every single person in a position of leadership needs to have influence you need to be influential why because people follow leaders leaders are followed by people therefore when you are followed you need to be a person of influence hello guys thank you so much for tuning into my channel my name is innocent sadiki and today i want to talk about the discipline of leadership um we are in a time now in a society where leadership is critical leadership is so important it is vital to what happens each and every day and it informs a lot of um, our behavior but when you are a leader you are a person of influence when you are a leader you are a person who holds power and i will talk about ministry and us being pastors and what the leadership roles are what the responsibilities are when it comes to leadership there are a few things that i want to touch on and um and read and how leaders are formed and what are some of these small and critical points um, that informs who we need to become not just for anything or anybody but who we become in Christ Jesus because leadership without God is not leadership leadership in God is governance for the government shall be upon their shoulders so we are governmental we are of a royal priesthood we Govern. We are in leadership, you know, and our ability to lead is spiritual more than what it is um, natural. So when we lead, we lead because we ourselves are led by God. When we lead, we lead because we have found leadership in Christ Jesus. When he died on the cross of Calvary, that was a, an act of leadership because as a leader you take on all the pain as a leader you you take on all the responsibility as a leader you go before as a leader you feel everything so that after you have carried the cross then everybody else can come and the pain the season of the pain is gone why because you have already walked before and ahead number one Leadership requires to have purpose. You cannot take yourself somewhere and you cannot take a group of people somewhere when you do not have a clear purpose because purpose brings direction. Purpose answers who am I? What am I here to do? What am I here for? So purpose answers a lot of important questions that will guide your tomorrow and your future. Number two, conviction. Conviction is a powerful tool because when you're not convicted in the mind, it will be difficult for you to be convicted in, this, in, 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 in your normal day-to-day -day life. Same thing with Christianity. We need to be convicted. We need to be convicted. We need to, to, to have received Christ. We need to have let go of a lot of things. We need to have accepted who we are now. We need to have put the past behind us. Let that rest. We need to be convicted. In fact, we need to be new. And the mind is the most powerful place to be convicted. When you are convicted in the mind, it means you have the ability ability to do anything vision you need to know where you're going how how do you go somewhere if you can't see it vision speaks of 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 of, of okay so there's a vision for the eyes right but i love to use it in conjunction i'd like to use it together why because a vision needs to show you where are you going? You need to, it's something that you need to see. It's a vision. Without a vision, without a clear vision, even the Bible says, write the vision down. Let it be clear. Because without a vision, without knowing where you are going, you as a pastor, as a leader, as a prophet, as a teacher, as an evangelist, you cannot 
lead people without a vision this is why every church every organization has a vision because with that vision you can understand without even knowing the leaders you know exactly where they're going oh they're planning they are called uh, the living gospel world and uh, they are planning on building a ministry this is where they started this is where they're going this is uh, their their vision their vision is to feed the community their vision is to adopt families around the community is to build a christ-centered church a word-based church uh, it's to have a hundred seater church it's to adopt how many families that is a vision that is a clear vision you need to know that uh, where are you going and when you do not where when you do not know where you're going you cannot take a group of people with you to go with you and then there's passion I'm in the entertainment industry, the television industry, and I know it's one of those industries that you cannot do or participate in without you being passionate about it. You must love it. It must come from deep within you. It must come from a deeper place because you are passionate about it. It's not just a hobby, but when you do it, there's a feeling that comes with passion that makes you so excited you know being passionate about something it's like you do it but you never want to let it go you don't want it to finish you're like oh i love it so much it can go on and on and on and on so your feelings are attached to what you're doing that is passion that is passion it's when you do something and you love it and you don't want it to end in fact you want more and more and more from it that is passion and as leaders we need to be passionate because when we do things and we are not passionate in them people will see that we are not passionate people will be able to see with the way you are reacting or behaving that you are not passionate in a particular thing inspiration is a key tool my goodness inspiration is everything you know how you desire to have cars fancy cars whether it's a bmw or mercedes whatever it is but 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 that inspiration seeing maybe somebody else has it's a, it, it inspires you it's inspiration that's why people have uh what they call a vision board right because it's inspiration you have the vision board not because you've got all of those things um, um, um not because you are sure you're gonna get them but because it's inspiration it would, now and then you need inspiration you need to be reminded where you're going you need to see what 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 you ought to achieve you need to see what is equivalent to your own level of life and your lifestyle that is inspiration influence mm. You cannot be a leader without influence. You cannot be in leadership without influence. Every single person in a position of leadership needs to have influence. You need to be influential. Why? Because people follow leaders. Leaders are followed by people. Therefore, when you are followed, you need to be a person of influence. Because the things that you do needs to influence people to either do better or, or think better or produce better. Therefore, your influence has to influence them to be better. Last one, leadership. Leadership. Leadership is great. Leadership is power. Leadership is grace. Leadership is not easy. Leadership is purpose. Leadership is discovering your innermost being, your most potential, in fact, your, your boldest self, if there's such a thing that, you know, inside you, you, you consist of so many things, but the one that's bold, the one that stands out, that, that, that bold character, that is leadership because leadership is without fear. Leadership is without intimidation. Leadership is without boundaries. It's, it's like, we're doing it, yes, let's go. <laughs> uh, we're trying it, okay, let's go. Um, we are in this, okay, let's go. That is leadership. Leadership is fearless. Leadership is character. Leadership is patience. Leadership is forgiveness. Pastors, leaders, leadership is forgiveness you need to be able to forgive people that you lead because whether or not they do wrong or right you still need to lead them we don't lead them because uh, we have requirements you lead them because you have been placed into that position to be in a leadership position therefore you can't remove yourself out of the lives of people when you're a leader because as a leader you're a pioneer as a leader, you forgive and you move on. In fact, you are the greatest example of forgiveness as a leader. 
because your ability to forgive will influence how other people forgive because you are a leader and you are an influential leader therefore people will do as you do that is my word for you today and i pray that through influence and power and leadership and of course with the power of god and the leadership of our lord and personal savior jesus christ we are able to be the best leaders in our generation the best leaders that we know of we can be able to challenge ourselves to challenge one another we may be able to grow we may be able to pray for ourselves and pray for those around us to be able to influence those those who come after us in the name of Jesus let me do a quick prayer for all the leaders father in the name of Jesus we thank you and we glorify your holy and mighty name thank you for being a leader thank you for showing us and for teaching us through true leadership through what you have done God you didn't have to do much but what you did, God, has transformed our ability to lead. For you went first and through you being on the cross of Calvary, God, today we have life in abundance. We have peace in abundance. We have grace in abundance. We have the power of forgiveness. We thank you for your generous heart. We thank you, my God, for loving us unconditionally. God, we pray for leadership. We pray that you may help us have the mental of leadership to lead your people and to know God that you have placed us for a good reason and for a good purpose and for kin for the kin for the sake of the kingdom and that we should never make it about ourselves but we should always make it about you and that we should put ourselves small and humbly so that heavenly father in our humbleness you can be big you can begin to do great things my God as we say to you my God Humble us, my God, so that you, my King, can be big because we serve a very, very big God and a mighty God. In the name of Jesus, we pray and we thank you, O oh Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. 